lot of love in my house, uh, that's for sure. Uh, parents didn't show that much, I guess, compassion towards each other. It was all directed into the, the energy was put more to the kids and in the work that they were doing. So their everyday struggle, so to speak, their love would come out through the kids. And um, we would hardly see them. I and mean, if you if you're talking about being romantic with each other, we would we would ne we would never see that. You know, that was for sure. <laughs> so growing up in my house, um, being from a Sikh family, you know, it's always male dominated, male banda banda, male male. The men is right, the male. Not in my house, you know. I have two sisters, who are both older than me. There's my mother. There's my younger brother, and then there's me, the two younger boys, and then there's my dad. But um, which is a good thing. Me having an older sister, I honestly believe, kept me in check, gave me that respect for women to respect because that's where it all starts. Is from the woman. If you can't respect your mother, you can't respect nothing and no one. And that's just the way it is. My mother is the dearest thing, closest to my heart. I I did get married to an Indian girl had to divorce just didn't see eye to eye and then I went and picked my own my own partner and she's not of the same race the same religion and you know, she's not a sick but I truly found my soulmate and that's been a huge struggle in my family my parents I mean yeah I had that gap between my father and me not understanding certain things then I had a child you know, which was not a sick you know, not born to a Punjabi family and that was a huge struggle but that's my daughter and that's my life and I'm happy to say I'm with, I found my soulmate you know I run home to, to her like it's not about you know being put with someone just because it's the right thing and it's a culture no I'm, I found my true love I found my own happiness and my parents slowly came around and now my, my parents are cool with it so you know, love has no color, love has no label, it doesn't have any borders or it's this tall, this, no. Love is love, it's perfect love, it's from the heart. So when two people join and they become soulmates, it's important, it's not always going to happen in the same religion. Just follow your heart, that's the way I see it. It doesn't matter about color, creed, Sikhi tells us. I, I'm a true believer of the true Sikhi, the message about Guru Nanak and him having his two brethren, one was a Hindu, one was a Muslim, and they walked the land and chanted the name of God. So he didn't, he didn't say that. Oh, he's been He had to be jacked friends, and no, no, he, you know. So let's, 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 let's try to be bigger than that, and, and really elevate, elevate in that, in that way, because we can't be stuck behind. We can't. We're gonna get left behind in every aspect. So people are people. Eh? Let's just treat them like that.